Hi, Susan Campfield here with SueStampfield.com. How's everyone doing tonight? Sorry for the little bit later start on our uh, Tuesday tutorials, but I'm here. Yay! I've got an um, exciting project to show you. A super cute, cute project. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to flip my camera here. You're going to see my ceiling for just a moment. Hey, Lori. Thanks for tuning in. So here is the little project that we're making tonight with the adorable um, special someone stamp set, which uh, just today they came out with some coordinating dies for that. So those are the, um, the special day dies. So um, it's a cute little project here. Roses are red, violets are blue. And being friends is better than eating candy, but let's do that too. So this could be a, a Valentine gift or just a just because kind of a gift, right? And then this little box holds a Ghirardelli chocolate. It's perfectly sized for that. You could also use the do the Valentine ones if you were doing it for Valentine's Day. Super cute for birthday or whatever. So let's go ahead and get started here. I just love this stamp set. It is so darn cute. And it's not just the little raccoon. Is that a raccoon? I think it's a raccoon. Is that a raccoon? A badger? Hedgehog? Okay, I think it's a raccoon. Not totally sure. Um, the adorable squirrel and then the mouse. And as you can see by the solid image, what I love about this is you don't have to color it. You can do the two-step stamping to get instant coloring just by using your stamps. So um, super fun and easy. And it comes with the balloons, um, the, the regular balloons, the heart balloons, the balloon string, and the greetings. Um, but now we have dies that work with this. So I guess I could have been showing you the actual stamp set right here. It is a photopolymer stamp set, and which is great because you want that for the lining up to make that easier. And then um, it, to -do 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 um, the dies are, oh, right here. So I've got some of them pulled off here because we're going to be using them. So these are the different dies. I like that it comes with double heart balloons and double regular balloons so that you can, um, you know, do multiple cutting at once. Um, it has the double uh, bows as well. And then these dies, this is grass. Isn't that cool? I think this would be really fun to do some Easter projects with. Uh, as you can see, it is quite long. Um, it's as long as a a card so you could do a, an entire um, edge of a card we're just going to be using a small portion of this tonight um, and then uh, this little die has four flowers in one so again you just get more uh, you can crank out one uh, flower set and get double of each so love how that saves me time and then how cute is this this is the bubble greeting so that's where our little greeting comes in so let's go ahead and get started here I'm just gonna put my dies I keep them on a it's just a inexpensive stand-up picture frame kind of thing and I put a magnet sheet on and I keep that by my machine when I'm making my project so I've got everything I need right at hand so I'm gonna put these aside and we'll go ahead and get started with our box. I think, hmm, let's start, we're gonna start by scoring the box. Let's do that real quick. I'll bring in my Simply Scored scoring tool here. I don't know why this black cardstock is here because I don't need it. <laughs> Out of the picture, you. All right, so, um, Pull it down so you can see the dimensions, or maybe I'll adjust the camera a little bit here. So the, this is Blushing Bride cardstock, and it measures five and a half inches by three inches. And I'm going to score it at two and a half and at three. So that's on the five and a half inch side. And then I'm gonna rotate it, and I'm gonna score it a half inch in from each end. Now it's easier, for, it's too hard for me to get in over here. So I like to do it on the outside. So it's three inches wide, so I'm gonna score it at two and a half. And that'll give me that half inch score there. And then I just rotate it around and repeat that. 
I'm right-handed, so it's a little hard for me to get in this corner, so that just is easier for me. So there, we've got our box all scored, and it is that simple. And then we're gonna go ahead and do our stamping. So I'm gonna set this aside. You can see where those score lines are, and we'll be putting that together in a minute. But let's bring in our Stamparatus here to do our little um, critter, for lack of a better word. Um, so I've got my, uh, we did this in my uh, die cutting class yesterday, so I've already, actually already got it all set up. And I'm just gonna reuse what we had done there. So I'm gonna put my piece of cardstock, and this is, what is this? This is two inches by uh, two and a half inches. Doesn't really matter because we're die cutting it out. I just want to make sure it's big enough for the stamp. So I'm going to just put in, I have some temporary adhesive down here and that holds it in place. When I have a large group of people um, doing the same image uh, with the Stamparatus, I like to use um, the grid paper, the six by six grid paper that you can purchase and just use it temporary adhesive. And I actually have this um, tape down as well as the foam cushion so it doesn't move between people. If it was just me doing it um, and only making one, um, I would just use the, the magnets to hold that down. So I'm gonna start with early espresso ink and I'm gonna do the outline of the, um, it's more the detailed uh, part of the critter, I guess. So I'm just going to go in and tap with my ink pad. I wanna make sure I'm getting good coverage on the stamp and I'm trying to not get it all over the plate because I didn't bring a, I didn't have a paper towel handy. So, um, but I think I did pretty good there. So we're gonna go ahead and just close that plate there and press down. And then if I, when I pull this up, if I didn't get all the image, so you can see I missed this whole side. I didn't press hard enough. No worries, I just put it back down and press again because it's not going to go anywhere because of that positioner. I know that it's going to be exactly in the same spot. So now I got all of the raccoon stamped. And I'm going to go in with the crumb cake ink pad here. And I'm going to do the solid portion of the stamp. This is lazy coloring. <laughs> easy, easy coloring with the stamps here. So, And don't let uh, the stamp positioner intimidate you. It is very easy to set this up. Um, you just... Uh, Put the paper down, you lay your stamp where you want it, and you close the plate so it sticks to the plate, and uh, it's very quick and easy. So this is my solid portion that's gonna color my little raccoon. And again, if I don't get a good image the first try, I can push it back down because it'll be, see I missed the top there, I forgot to push up there. I'm so used to the blocks, I forget sometimes to push on all of the parts. So now I've got it all filled in. So I'm done with the Stamparatus, and you can see it is perfectly lined up. How cute is that stamp? So adorable. So we're going to put this aside. I'm just gonna put this here because I've got, got dirty stamps and I'm not even gonna clean it. Oh, shocking. All right, so we've got our little critter. We can cut that out, but before we do that, we're gonna do the rest of our stamping here. So I'm gonna stamp my greeting. Roses are red, violets are blue. For the greeting, I'm gonna use the Flirty Flamingo ink pad. It's a little bit brighter pink than my box. I want those great words to show up really well. So I'm gonna stamp that right there. And then I'm going to stamp my longer greeting on this longer piece of paper. And that's the one that talks about being friends right here. Being friends is better than eating candy, but let's do that too. So I'm gonna stamp that right in the center of this piece. All right, oops, I had two pieces of paper there. All right, so now we're gonna put that away. I think we've got all our stamping. You can see on the back here, do you see I was playing around with different color combinations? That's, this one came out way too dark. So I flipped my paper over and did a different combo, and this is my favorite. So it's early espresso ink with crumb cake um, ink filling it in. So kind of our darkest brown paired with our lightest brown. That's what works best, in my opinion, on these. You can see I did, here's one where I did the squirrel. 
and that's the same colors early espresso and crumb cake so uh, let's go ahead and get these items cut out um, the other thing we're going to cut is our grass here out of this designer paper and this designer paper is a new one so let's pull that in um, and that's where this heart comes from as well. So this is the coordination product release. The dies that I'm about to use are the special day dies right here that go with this um, special someone stamp set. And then the paper is so cool. Hey Deb, thanks for tuning in. This is the pleased as punch paper. Okay, it does not show off um, in the flyer there. You just really can't tell how cool this paper is. But no worries, I've got it right here. So um, there are, you get four sheets of the four designs. Um, this one matches our umbrella punch, our umbrella, umbrella builder punch. So you can punch out the umbrellas. This one that we're about to use matches our heart punch from the heartfelt bundle. So I'm going to pull that one out. Um, this one matches the um, small flower punch. That's a free celebration item right now. And this one matches the tulip builder punch. I love this paper. And then of course it has another side. We've got this fun rainbow. The pretty gingham. These cute raindrops. Of course they're on the back of the umbrellas. And then this one, which is what we're using for the grass. So... I'm going to grab my heart punch. I'll go ahead and punch out a heart here. I just cut them into strips so that I can capture all of those hearts. And they just perfectly line up with the heart punch. There we go. And then I punched out, and I already did this, but I punched out a scallop heart um, with the other punch in that set. Where'd it go? Here it is. It's hiding under. I had a backup raccoon just in case I messed mine up. Here we go. So that's just, that's done, right? That's easy peasy. Um, we're going to go ahead and get these die cuts. So let me try and clear some space and I will bring in my die cutting machine. Let's we'll see if we can squeeze it all in here. Sorry if I'm shaking the camera there. Oh, this is my one that the handle likes to fall off. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's seen a lot of love. A lot of love. All right, so we've got our little raccoon, and here's those dies. Cut this little cutie out. Get that all lined up. And then we're going to, uh, oops, wrong one. Take our greeting here. I'm using the magnetic plate, so I have to kind of push towards the magnets because I will not win that fight. Um, hmm. I'm going to move the raccoon over a little bit if I can here. There we go. And all right, so the I forgot to tell you the die on the back of the box is actually from another set of dies. And that is um, another project we did last night. And it's one I'll be sharing soon, but they're these uh, sending flower dies. So it's this long label right in here. If you don't have this one, you could use another label. This die is really cool though. I'll show it to you soon, really soon, really, really soon. Maybe even, yeah, really soon. Okay. <laughs> Um, I'm going to stop there. I'm going to come back through and do the grass and the, um, the grass. And what was the other one I have to do? The little flowers. All right, we'll go ahead and get this cut out. That totally looks crooked, doesn't it? It is a little crooked. I think it shifted when I put the plate on. All right, does that look better, guys? You can probably see better than I can because I'm trying to look through the camera which is not the best way to line things up right all right we're going with that i get way too precise about things it's a fault hey linda hey kathy all right so we've got those cut out 
I love this little guy. So cute. All right. And we've got our greeting bubble. All sorts of things would fit in here. Happy birthday, just all sorts of things. And then we have our long greeting on the back. This is the one I wasn't sure if I had it straight or not. Let's see how I did. Meh, yeah, I can live with that. Works for me. All right. And now we're going to go back in with the little flower die. This is going to cut us four flowers in one go. And then we're going to cut the grass with this super cool long grass die. Love this one. All right, and we're just going to pop that plate on, send that through. Isn't it the cutest raccoon ever, Joyce? I totally agree with you. All right. So there we've got our four little flowers all cut out. You can just leave them in the die for right now. And then here is our grass. So this is the grass that it cut. It also cuts this relief piece, which if you flip that over, it makes perfectly good grass as well. So you could e even layer if you wanted it a little bit taller or save that for another project, which is what I'm gonna do. All right, so let's move that out of our way. And let's put our project together. I'm just gonna take my good old take your pick tool here and I'm gonna poke out these little flowers. There we go. So one of these is gonna go in her hair. So I'm just gonna take a glue dot here. Don't know why I, whoopsie, pulled the whole thing out. There we go, come on. It has a flat paddle on the other side, but I wanna pierce her for this. So I'm just gonna fold that glue dot in half Put that on the back of the flower here. And I'm gonna tuck that right be behind her ear. There we go. And then we're gonna just embellish the, that with a champagne rhinestone, which is here. It's just slightly buried. There we go, so now she's all fancy. And then we're gonna put our box together. So let's bring that box in. Actually, while I'm at it, I'm gonna go ahead and add a rhinestone to each of these flowers. These are gonna decorate the back of our box. And I'm just gonna use small ones on all of them, but there are Medium ones and large ones if you want to make the bigger flowers have bigger middles. And I just think this champagne color goes nicely with the pale pink that we're using for this project. So there's our little rhinestones. And let's put our box together. So again, this was five and a half by three. And we scored it at what do we score it at? Two and a half and three. So I'm just gonna cut on the score line up to that uh, when the, where the intersecting score line is. And then I'm just gonna cut out a little bit of a little wedge there. It's gonna make the box go together a little bit neater. It's gonna make my corners nice and straight and flat. And just chop out again that wedge. Slide that out of our way, and then we're just going to take some tear and tape and fold this up and fold here and here. There we go. And we're going to attach the tape to the side here. to that side there. And then go back to my take your pick tool or if you have a paper piercer that works as well. Just pull that backing off. Oh, it's sticking to me. Sticky stuff. That's why we're using it. So I'm not even going to put any adhesive on these little tabs. Um, they're just going to go be tucked in on the inside and I'm just going to fold the box up 
Um, I got this box um, idea from one of my team members, Sue Dias. She gave me a cute little treat holder um, <clears throat> that my naughty dogs then got a hold of and destroyed. Uh, sorry, Sue. It was so cute, and uh, they ate it. But I was still able to uh, <laughs> get the dimensions from it, uh, so that was good. All right, so there we have our little box. And now we're just going to decorate it. So we're going to take that heart and that we punched out of that cute paper. And we're just going to put some dimensionals on the back of that. I was going to say, I know I have dimensionals here. So I'm going to put three on the back of this. And these Hearts come from, the heart is from the Please Dis Punch paper that just was released today, along with these special day dies. And the uh, heart punches, the scallop and smooth heart, are part of the um, heartfelt bundle. So I'm going to grab a couple more, and I'm going to put this on the box. I actually want it to extend up over the top of the box. Just like so. Okay, and then we're going to put our grass on. And to do that, I'm just going to add a couple glue dots on the back. Again, the grass is from that same Please Does Punch paper. I love punches. Absolutely love them. They're so quick and easy to use, and they are just such a wow. And with this paper, this was a must-have for me. So, um, just ordered my third pack today. <laughs> All right. It just came out today, but demonstrators can uh, purchase ahead with uh, our new products. So, I had already ordered two previously. So, I just want to make sure I have that lined up to the edge. So, there's the grass. Isn't that die cute? And then we're just going to pop our little raccoon here on the side. So... Boy, these are <laughs> dimensional. Everything's sticking to my nails tonight. <laughs> Must be super sticky. All right. I hope I put that on the right side. Oh, whew, I did, but I put this one up a little high. I'm gonna pull that off and move it down. Hang on. Kind of ripped it a little bit, so I'm going to put a fresh one on here. A little bit lower. There we go. So that's just going to start coming in right just at the side of the box there. And then we're going to add our greeting. I'm going to put that on with glue dots as well. Put this little ribbon on my roll of glue dots. It's kind of like a leash to keep the paper from unspinning. I'm going to just add our greeting right here. Whoops. Put it down just, uh, put it down and over a little bit here. There we go. All right, and then we're gonna add our sentiment on the back side, and we're actually also gonna add these little flowers in. So this one, I can't remember. Yeah, I did it flat with the glue dots again. So my uh, label's going to stick out from the side of my box, so I don't want the glue dots to be too close to the edge. There you there you go all right and we'll just put that right just kind of center that right in the middle and then we're going to just add these other little flowers on with again glue dots what would i do without glue dots and dimensionals uh, my projects would be a lot flatter <laughs> and i'd have to get much better at using liquid glue there we go And you know what, I'm going to use my, this one does not want to pick up with my nails, so I'm going to use my little putty on there. Got that a little, remember with the glue dots you can always fold them in half if they're too big, so put one right there, and the last one, this one I do want to fold the glue dot in half. And just put that on the back side. And 
stick it right on my project. And then we're just ready to put in our little chocolate treat there. So slide that right in. And there we've got our cute little project. Thanks so much for joining me tonight. Let me flip the camera here. Take it out of my stand. Thanks so much for tuning in and joining me tonight. Um, remember the Please Does Punch paper and the special day dies are only available while supplies last. They just came out today. So uh, make sure you order them as soon as you can because we don't know how long they'll be around. Take care everyone. Thanks so much for joining me and have a great night. Bye-bye.